What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com and I am back once again with another highly demanded tutorial on my channel. Today we will learn what are PL SQL packages in Oracle database. I know that for some of you PL SQL packages are quite a confusing topic. We have used them time and again in almost all the tutorials but never got a chance to talk about them. Thus today through this PL SQL video tutorial I will try to make you understand packages in as easy as possible language. So without wasting much of your time let's start the tutorial and learn what PL SQL packages in Oracle database are. What are PL SQL packages in Oracle database? Packages are stored libraries in the database which allow us to group related PL SQL objects under one name or in simple words Packages are logical groups of related PL SQL objects. Packages are named PL SQL blocks which means they are permanently stored into the database schema and can be referenced or reused by your program. So what all can be include in a package? A package can hold multiple database objects such as stored procedure, PL SQL functions, database cursors, type declaration as well as variables. All the objects included into a package are collectively called package elements. Now let's take a look at the architecture of the PL SQL package. PL SQL package is divided into two parts. The package specification also known as the header and the package body. Both these parts are stored separately in the data dictionary. The package specification is the required part whereas the package body is optional. But it is a good practice to provide the body to the package. Now let's see what are these two parts. Package specification. Package specification is also known as the package header. It is the section where we put the declaration of all the package elements. Whatever elements we declare here in this section are publicly available and can be referenced outside of the package. Always remember in this section we only declare package elements but we don't define them. Also this is the mandatory section of the package. A well and neatly designed package specification is suffice to give a detailed knowledge of the package to the developer and that too without taking a look at the package body. Syntax of package specification. Here is the syntax. Like other named PL SQL blocks this syntax also start with the keyword create followed by the keyword package. In between create and package we have an optional clause or replace. This clause will replace the already created package specification if there is any without having it dropped. Then we have the package name. This could be anything after all it is completely user defined as long as it satisfies the oracle database naming norms. Then we have another keyword is followed by which we can specify the declaration of all our package elements. Then we have another keyword and which marks the ending of the package specification followed by keyword and if you want you can again specify the name of your package though it's optional yet it could be helpful. That is the package specification. Now let's jump over to package body. In package body we provide the actual structure to all the package elements which we have already declared in the specification by programming them. Or we can say that a package body contains the implementation of the elements listed in the package specification. Unlike package specification a package body can contain both declaration of the variable as well as the definition of all the package elements. Any package elements such as PL SQL function, a cursor or a stored procedure which is not in the package specification but coded in the package body is called private package elements and thus they cannot be referenced outside the package. Let's take a quick look at the syntax of the package body. And here we are. Syntax is self explanatory. The first line is pretty much similar to the first line of the package specification except that here we have added an extra keyword which is body. This helps you and the compiler distinguish between the package body and specification. Then we have the declaration section where you can declare your variable types or other modules. Always remember unlike anonymous blocks do not use declare keyword. 
and whatever you declare here in the body of the package will remain private and cannot be referenced outside the package. Then we have the execution section. Inside this section we can implement or say define all the package elements which we have declared in the package specification. As both the package specification and package body are two individual units and stored separately into the data dictionary thus they can be compiled separately too. You can head over to my blog where I have explained this same topic in more detail. Link is in the description. That's it for the introduction to PL SQL packages in Oracle database. Stay tuned as in the next tutorial we will see the live demonstration of the package with some interesting examples. Before going make sure to hit that thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button too. You can also help me in this venture of sharing knowledge by sharing the link of this PL SQL tutorial on your social media with your friends. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.